that listen some people are temporary so if people come into your life that you feel like you could not live without and they leave it is fine you're gonna be fine hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Janine if you're new and if you are not new welcome back to my channel so you know how there are those cliche New Year's resolution type videos I decided that I wanted to make one and it's not so much about New Year's resolution but it's more about keeping myself in check and having something to go back and look back on to pretty much hold myself accountable for because sometimes we need to hold ourselves accountable so to begin with I went ahead and I wrote down some of the things you know that I want to focus more on in the new year and talk about some of the things that 2019 taught me so the first thing is to hold yourself accountable or you know to have somebody close to you hold you accountable because sometimes accountability is good you need that sometimes and sometimes you just need one person to be like listen you said you were gonna do this or you know just one person to push you or if you are able enough to like push yourself then that is amazing but you know some of us are different and some of us are not able to motivate ourselves and to push ourselves so we need that one person who is going to be there in our lives just to be there to push us so that is the first thing that 2019 taught me um is you know accountability is important and you sometimes need somebody that is going to push you that's two things that's not one all right so the next Thing is and that was supposed to be the first thing on my list and that is to trust God's timing let me tell you something a lot of times um, we get so worked up about the things that we want to happen in our lives and you know in a certain time that we want it to happen in. and most times if it don't happen within the time frame that you have planned for yourself then you're so down and you're upset and you fall in a bit of a funk but you honestly you have to learn to trust God's timing and 2019 taught me so much of that in which um, you know I was I was all over the place and I wanted things to happen on my own time and that just was not it God showed me that you know it is him and he's in control and I need to trust his timing and he also showed me how important it is to trust his timing you know most times you want it to work out and if it had worked out in the time that you wanted it to work out in it wouldn't have been as perfect as it is when it works out in god's timing and that to me is just superb so trusting god's timing is something that is high on my list of things to focus more on in 2020 and 2019 really narrowed down on that for me another thing is to show gratitude um you know a couple of weeks ago I found that I was in a situation where somebody thought I they I don't know they thought that I wasn't grateful enough I feel like I always show gratitude but you know sometimes to some people you don't show it enough and some people want to see it even though in the back of their heads they know that you are grateful and 2019 really um, taught me that you know sometimes you have to go the extra mile to show people that you are grateful for the things that they they do for you and maybe sometimes it's not so much about them talking about what they do for you because I don't like that and I don't I try not to talk about the things that I do for people because then that defeats the purpose if you're gonna do it and then talk about it because most times people are gonna feel bad about that you guys I apologize for how nasally I sound right now but I'm trying to get over a cold which is so annoying but yeah in 2020 I want to focus more on showing gratitude you know I want the people who are in my life to know that I'm grateful for them and I'm grateful for all the things that they do for me whether it's something big or you know something small it doesn't matter gratitude is important and showing your gratitude is important just the same way how it's important for you to feel like you know somebody appreciates something that you did for them when you do it the next thing that um, 2019 taught me is to be more humble be more humble <laughs> <laughs> when your automatic sprayer goes off just be humble just relax just chill some things are not that serious it's okay it's not the end of the world just relax be humble be grateful 
be humble they kind of work hand in hand the next thing is to trust the process and not just trust the process but to truly trust the process i feel like i'm one of those persons who i live by trusting the process but i also feel like there have been moments where i'm just like oh my gosh i trust the process but you know there can't be any doubt when you're trusting the process and that seems and sounds hard but trusting the process has paid off in so many ways for me and i'm so grateful for that so i encourage everybody who this video gets across to to just trust the process and you know relax and be humble like i've said before you know they're all they all make sense all together you know being humble showing your gratitude trusting the process trusting god's timing all of those just work together and as long as you implement those you know in your life trust god's timing and do not go against the grain sometimes if something is not working out leave it alone let it be sometimes when you're having some issues you're gonna have to really give it to god and let him know that god listen this is too much for me to carry and you said you want to carry my burdens here you go you said to leave it in your hands here you go because it's too much for me to deal with the other one is that some people are temporary and this one for me is is oh my gosh it's so it's so near and dear to my heart because you know i'm i love the people that i love you know and those people i feel like i always want to have in my life but 2019 really taught me that some people are just temporary and it's perfectly fine for them to be temporary some people are in your life for a season and they're there to teach you something and it's fine once they have done what they were in your life to do some people are not meant to be in our lives forever and sometimes as much as we want those people to be around for the rest of our lives and we think that we cannot go on without them we sh we can and they're not going to be there they're only there for a specific amount of time nobody knows how long but when they leave it's perfectly fine you're gonna be fine it's hard but you're gonna get over it and you know somebody's gonna come along or something is gonna come along that's gonna replace the emptiness that you feel from that person leaving but some people are temporary and that is okay and me going into the new year with this at the forefront of my mind that listen some people are temporary so if people come into your life that you feel like you could not live without and they leave it is fine you're gonna be fine another one is zero in on people when they're angry or you know just to listen to people when they're angry because i feel like i'm that person who no matter how angry i am i'm not gonna say something that i'm going to regret when i'm angry when i'm livid when i'm upset i think about everything that I want to say before I actually say it because I have to think about how it's going to impact the person because I know that once you say something you can't take it back and no matter how many times you apologize for saying what you said you already said it and they already heard it and they already feel how they feel about it and even if they have forgiven you it is still there so going into 2020 you know I want to I want to carry that behavior over into 2020 because I feel like in 2019 I really did really really good with um you know being careful with what I say and listening to people when they are angry because they're not lying you know this is exactly how they feel and it just sucks sometimes that this is when you find out that this is how they always felt but you know you have to listen it's kind of like the saying that says when people show you who they are believe them the first time trust and believe that that is how they are that is exactly who they are there's no lie you know trust your instinct it it I don't think it has ever been wrong or at least not for me and normally when I trust my instinct I'm fine trust your instinct the next thing that 2019 taught me and that I feel like I really did good with in 2019 is being more forgiving and I want to carry that over into 2022 because I saw where that worked out for me in so many ways you know sometimes you have people up in your heart and you're so angry with people and you know you feel like you can forgive them but I have learned where you know being more forgiving has really helped me to work through a lot of things that I have been going through because forgiveness is not for the next person it is truly for you and for you to decide what you want to do I have forgiven you but I remember the things that you know you have done to me and it sucks because I'd really like to forget but you know sometimes you just can't forget but you have to forgive in order to move forward and moving forward is always key I always want to keep moving forward so I'm always gonna find a way to forgive people 
um, no matter what the situation is, just so that I can move forward and I can evolve and I can grow because that is very important to me. And the final thing that I want to touch on before I close out this video is to fall in love with yourself. Let me tell you how the latter part of 2018 and throughout 2019, I have learned the importance of just loving myself and falling in love with myself. I am not able to fully love somebody the way how I want to be loved if I don't love myself. So I first have to love myself so that I'm able to project that same love onto somebody else and who knows, maybe they're going to be able to love me in the same way in return one day, but you first have to love yourself. It is so important to love yourself. You know how many people are walking around with low self-esteem and you know they're just sad and they're just so angry and they don't love themselves and they harm themselves and no i don't want to be that person and i know that some people who are like that they probably can control the fact that they are like that because of the things that they have been through but i have been through so much and through it all i have just learned the importance of loving myself and you know all throughout 2019 i've also um had a lot of time by myself you know i i've taken a lot of time for myself and to myself and I feel like that too is also important that you take time for yourself to you know to be okay to find a way to be okay with whatever it is that you are going through and in the time that I've taken for myself and the time that I've spent with myself is where I've is when I've learned to love myself the most and that for me is something that is so important and that's something that I want to teach my daughters and my son or my sons you know that's something that i want to teach my kids because you know i want to grow kids that you know don't have low self-esteem or i want to try to prevent that from happening to my kids in any way possible and i feel like it starts with loving yourself for yourself because if you don't love yourself you can't love anybody else and that is where i'm going to close out today's video thank you guys so so much for sticking with me throughout the years and you know i really hope that you guys enjoy my videos sometimes they are not the most popping but you know they are a true reflection of my everyday life and a true representation of who i am as a person and how i live my life and why it is that way is because even though sometimes the vlogs might be boring it is that way because i want to make sure that years later when i look back at my videos i see myself i don't see somebody who i was pretending to be I always want to be myself because everybody else is taken, you know? So, um, thank you guys for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. My aim is to upload videos three times per week to say the least. And, you know, if anything, maybe a bonus one here and there, maybe more. But for the most part, three um, videos per week. I'm hoping that 2020 has some amazing things in store for me. I don't know I'm just hoping it does and yeah I'm looking forward to the new year bye guys